everyone i'm just going to jump right in to how to color over blonde hair and this is the revlon box that i'm using which is the color black they have soft black black and jet black so this is the black it comes with three items well actually four but the color the conditioner and the developer and then there's the gloves and the instructions so the gloves come on the instruction book and i just usually tear them off and throw the instructions away because i've done it so many times but you can read the instructions on how to do this if you are new to coloring your hair this color is pretty good because it doesn't color your hair green. Sometimes when you color your hair from blonde to black, your hair can turn green. So what I'm doing now is just taking the color bottle and pouring it into the developer bottle. And all you're going to do after that is just shake it up. And I normally just probably shake it up for about 30 seconds so I can make sure it's fully mixed through and there's no chunks still left inside you only need one bottle i'm doing half the head so definitely only need half the bottle but i'm shaking up the whole thing because i'm not really going to need this for a while <clears throat> But yeah, you can use one bottle for a whole head unless your hair is really thick and you can use two. But um, a trick that I do is wet the hair. Even though I think it says do it dry, I wet the hair. That way it will spread further. So now I'm just going in and I'm sectioning off half of my hair that I want to be colored. Because what I'm going to do is, and in the next video I'm going to do some braids. So... I want my hair to, I don't want to have to do too much tucking on my own head. So, and plus I like black on the bottom. So I'm just going to color the bottom black and I don't want to get rid of this blonde. So I still want to leave the top blonde. So now I'm just pouring every, the color onto my hair. It's pretty much an easy process. That's all you don't have to do is just pour it on. So I'm pouring it onto the roots also because even though my hair is black, the color is darker than the natural black. It's more jet black, so, um, but it's not super jet black. So I'm putting it onto the roots also and then smoothing everything in so that it will go on even so if you have any lighter color hair you want to make sure that you rinse this off with your head tilted to the side because when it touches the the color touches the blonde hair or any light color it can easily color it that quick so I know it toned mine a little, but you wouldn't tell, but I can tell. So I see that I didn't part my hair evenly straight, but whatever. Um, it's going to be braided most of the time anyway. So now you can see how it looks. My hair is black on the bottom. It almost looks like my natural color, but it's a little darker, as I said so stay tuned because i'm going to show you the style that i do next i'm going to put some braids in after this <laughs> 